Today's topic is going to be so interesting. Today, we are going to talk about food. So, uh, could, you, could you tell me, what do you think about uh, food? Of course, food is delicious. Of course, food is necessary. But you know that food has some other connotations. Uh, some people say, that what you eat affects on how you feel. What do you think about this? Mm, I don't know exactly about this topic, but I heard that. I, I read about, about the people who eat too much meat. Uh -huh. It's so aggressive than yes. the rest of the other people. I have already, I have also heard about it. Yes, you're right. I heard it also that some people who eat a lot of meat tend to be a little aggressive. So what do you think about it? Do you consider that it is true? Mm, I'm, I'm not sure about, about it because uh, I don't know if there, are, if there is a scientist Searching? Um, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry. How can I say uh, investigación científica? Uh, research. Scientific research. 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 Mm, but the, the but doctor said that, well, not doctors, uh, there is a kind of um, people who it's a natural physician. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, natural physician. They, for example, from Chapingo School. Uh -huh. They say that uh, according to what kind of food we, we, we eat, uh, our organisms react. But that's not true. I don't know exactly that is true or is a fault. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. Well, I, I have heard also uh, something about that, and I have heard that uh, we are what we eat. And so, yes, yeah, some, some kinds of food provokes certain reactions. For example, there are some children who are really hyperactive whenever they eat chocolate. Uh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Maria del Rosario, could you please help me to mention what are the the foods? What is the food that you can? No, what are? I'm sorry. What is the food that you can see in the screen? The screen. Well, I can see. Meat. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Chili, yes, onions, garlic, garlic. Mm. I don't know, it's a cilantro. I don't, I don't say how to, or perejil. That's it, cilantro. Cilantro. So, uh, o, uh, olive oil. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Oil, lemon. Lemon, so spinach, spinach, excellent. Spinach. I don't know, say it's a morron, uh -huh. pepper, chili pepper. pepper. Oh, yes, pepper. Mm -hmm. And in this moment, I forget the alcachofa, I forget Ar the artichoke. A rice, uh -huh. rice, and the in, in the top in the corner, top is a avocado, probably. Uh -huh. uh, a Brussels, Brussels sprouts, sprouts. Uh, a, a kind of seed, seeds. Uh -huh, that's it. Mm -hmm. I think that they are pepper seeds. 
pepper seeds? I think so. They they Lana, look yes. pepper. In the black spoon. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes. And so please tell me, do you use uh, some of these some of these food? Yes. In my common dinner, I used rice, um, chili, a little pepper. Uh -huh. Excellent. It's, it's, it's so they give they provoke me pain painful pain in my stomach oh my why because i had a, a problem in my it's a kind of gastritis oh. that's the point that i avoid to eat this kind of condiments mm, species species yeah species. so some species are very aggressive yes yeah all right well thank you very much now please let's see the next image and so here we have some vocabulary exponents about food for example a uh, well here we have um this one uh, when we talk about seafood we can mention squid shrimp lobster clamps so i don't know if there is any word in here that you don't know or yes the squid squid a squid and clam squid means into spanish calamar and clam means almeja uh, okay so what about vegetables is there any vegetable that you don't know well yes. I know all the the works. Excellent. Thank you very much. About meat. Mm. Yes, I know it. Excellent. I know the no. What about drinks? Mm. It, I know it, all of them. Excellent. Thank you very much. So what about fruit? it's okay i know it all right thank you very much so now please could you uh, tell me any recipe that we can use with this with uh, these exponents of vocabulary receive oh my goodness any recipe I would cook with mm, for example pork uh -huh. In tomato. Okay. Mm. With a uh, garlic and uh, a potatoes. Wow. Hey, it sounds delicious. Yes, it, yes, that's true. Okay, so please tell me what's your favorite uh, food? Mm, grapes. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> It's delicious, but in this moment it's too expensive. Oh yes, maybe it is because of the um, of the season. The season, I think so. Yeah, because it is going to be a new year. So, in uh, what about your house? In your house, do you buy? Uh, the grapes and you do uh, the 12 uh, new year resolutions mm, yes uh, my my family have this tradition to eat okay. grapes but it's at the end the last year and the, the last year uh, we had we t took the decision that not to eat because it's too expensive Yes, that's it. Well, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I have, in this moment, I forget how to say uh, pasas. Raisins. Raisins. We, we eat, 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 we have eating raisins. Ah, hey, that's very good. 
that's too much good. All right, it's a very good idea. Even though, okay, raisins once upon a time were grapes. Yes, it's the last part of the grapes. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. That's the last state. The process. The last process. Aha, uh -huh. yes, that's it. All right, excellent. So, uh, please, could you tell me what's your favorite food and the way you prepare it? Mm, it's chicken. Oh. Chicken, I don't say it. Mm, caldo, boy, well, caldo tlalpeño. Oh, chicken. Good. How do you prepare it? Well, I prepare with, with chicken, with tlalpeño chili, and a little rice, and potato. Mm, chayote. I don't know how you say chayote. Ah. Oh my, I don't remember how to say it. Mm. I think that it could be uh, the same chayote because it, it is kind of like a Mexican, a Mexican. A native vegetable, a Mexican. Mm -hmm, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that's very good. And so what else? Mm, uh, uh, I'm forgetting this moment. Zanahoria? I'm for carrots. Yeah, car car carrots. 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 Uh, carrots. Carrot. And don't use that. Hey, good. All right, pretty good. And so how do you cook it? I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Uh, how do you prepare it? You boil, you add the vegetables? In boil. Excellent. And do you add anything else whenever you finish boiling it? Uh, I mean, uh, some lemon, some chili? Uh, yes, and then we added lemon and... Um, Oh, sorry. For cebolla, I'm forgetting. <laughs> it's okay. Onion. Uh, yes, onion and a little chili. But it's, it's, it's um, chili, but it's... Um, how do you say in, in English? Um, Cuaresmeño. Oh my. It's a little cuaresmeño chili at the end. Hot chili pepper. Chili pepper, yes. Hot, hot but chili. But just a little, not too much. Not too much. Great. You know what? I remember that time ago, long, long time ago, I went to Veracruz and in there I uh, went to eat. Mm. To, to Cafe Parroquia, yes. Uh, in Veracruz. Uh, and there I ate consomme parroquia. Mm. But uh, it's called a tlalpeño, but guess what? They add a little of chopped tomato, raw chopped tomato. They also add a, li a little of cilantro, onion, chopped onion some uh, chipotle chili yes. and some pieces some dices of cheese oaxaca cheese mm. that's delicious i really love it yes, yes but at the end we, we have problems with the stomach <laughs> yes yes that's it's it a, a delicious food oh, yes. It's so delicious, but anyway, as you said, it can be uh, not very good. Okay, so please, could you talk to me about drinks? What are your favorite drinks? Water. Oh, good. Plain water. Yes, 
That's good. So good. And a uh, and tea. tea. What kind of tea do you prefer? Mm, man, mm, Toronjil tea. Oh, good. I, I like too much because it relaxes me. Ah, oh, that's so good. Yes, it is so relaxing. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Um. Finally, do you prefer any kind of tea? Any special kind of tea? Mm. No. In fact, when well, today is it's so hard to eat turkey. But when I was child, as I grew up in a little town, my mom had a lot of turkeys. Uh -huh. and, and I had the chance to to change to eat turkey when uh -huh. I was child. But today is so hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's so difficult. Time ago, I think that there were many things that were easier than now. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. Well, now let's move on the next image. Here we are. Uh, please, could you comment what time do you have breakfast and what do you usually have for breakfast? Mm, I well, I usually usually have for breakfast a uh, a milky. Um, I beg your pardon? How do you say licuado? Uh, a shaky? Uh, no. It's uh, blended milk. A uh, uh, blended, but when I usually, uh, every day, in fact, I have a, a blending with avena and one piece Oats. of apple. Uh, Oats and apples? Oats and apples. Ah, great. But uh, what do you one add? One of... Ale in amaranto. Aha, it's sesame, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Well, hey, that's pretty good. So, what do you add to, to this mixture? It's oats, apple, sesame seeds, and mm -hmm. water or milk? Um, no, water. Water, yes, that's good. That's pretty good. Yes, in fact, I had a problem with the milk. And uh, the doctor said that I have to avoid to, to eat milk. To avoid, avoid drinking milk. Drinking milk. Mm, that's it. I see. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So, uh, I'm sorry. What time did you tell me you have breakfast? Uh, five o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning. It yes. is so uh, early. Yes. Why? Why do you wake up so early in the morning? Mm, because I have to leave um, from my home at 6.20 6.20 in the morning. 6.20? Where do you yes. live? Uh, I live in, uh, in Chumalhuacán, but yeah. it's close to Nezahualcoyot. And I have to work, I have to work close to Texcoco. My goodness, that's so far. Yes, it's so far. And the uh, problem is the traffic. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, too much. And uh, could you remind me what's your job? Yes, I'm a teacher. Ah, uh, and where, where do you work? What's the school you are working in? Well, I work in an elementary school in the mornings, but uh, I attend students at, from 10, 7 o'clock. That they have a, a, some kind of disability to learn. Aha. Uh -huh. And I have to work with them at 7 o'clock. And at the, at the, <clears throat> after in the eight o'clock, I attend the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. Oh my, <clears throat> that's so difficult sometimes. How do you feel about it? Yes, it's so difficult because 
their, par their parents, many of them don't have the opportunity to, to take them on the on special schools or the special attention with a professional people. Uh -huh. And for me, sometimes it's so difficult, beca difficult because I have to attend students with uh, uh, attention deficit. Yes, that's it. And the uh, uh, different cognitive levels. Uh -huh, yes. And, and for example, I have uh, students that don't that can speak. Uh -huh. they, they can they don't they don't develop the language yet and it's so hard to try to teach them uh, because they don't want to to learn or writing to read it and it's so, it's so difficult in fact oh my yes and, and so well sometimes we talk about what we eat about teachers health but what about children? When children haven't taken breakfast, of course, it is much more difficult to help them to learn and to understand. Yeah, that's true. Well, let me tell you something. For me, one of the most frustrating uh, situations, the most frustrating um, experiences that I have had as a teacher is that when when your children come to school without having taken any breakfast or when they are deprived because they didn't sleep well mm -hmm. some of them work some others don't like to uh, go to bed on time and parents don't do anything. Parents permit that children have that misuse of schedules. And so I think that is one of the, the hardest uh, parts of being a teacher. What, what do you think about it? Well, <clears throat> Well, I, I think that the problem today is that parents um, aren't, they don't want to get responsibility about their children. Mm -hmm. and the, the, the children are in discipline. Uh -huh. Are in discipline. They don't have, have uh, good habits to, uh, to uh, sleep to study and many bueno many of them uh, will watch tv or stay in the computer and uh, too late yeah so late at night mm -hmm. yes i think that it is an enormous problem mm -hmm. i remember that time ago i had a student in the um, preparatory school but it was incredible it was tremendous he was asleep all of the time and whenever i tried to wake him up he was angry because he wanted to keep on sleeping and so one day i asked him why he was so sleepy all the time i really thought that the boy had the necessity of working but guess what that was not the problem. The problem is that he played, he used to play video games still very late at night. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, hey, what about your mommy or your daddy? Don't they tell you anything? And, they, and he said, they don't have to tell me anything. They, they are not any authority. And I said, oh, your parents are not an authority. What could I expect from you, poor mortal? Yes, that's true, Marisa. It's very common today in our society. Yes, and that's so extremely sad. Mm -hmm. Because if parents can't control children, who can do it then? Mm -hmm. Teacher can do it. 
Aha. Can do it. Do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Who can do it then? Yes. Well, teachers are supposed to do it. Some of us can do it with certain children. But some other children are so so difficult to to control. Of course, whenever they are uh, open to have a conversation with you, it is great because we can do many things. But whenever they don't want to listen to the teacher, whenever they um, are not interested in what we are going to say, it is really difficult. Mm -hmm. It's so tired. It's so, so difficult tired. to teach. To teach, yeah. them, to teach the rest of the group. Uh -huh. One student, oh my goodness, they they don't permit to to work with the rest of the students. Yes, yes, you're right. In this moment, I have a, a one case. Uh, the boy is is so very intelligent. But the problem is that he can control behavior in his TDA. Oh my. This is it's so hard for me, in fact. Mm -hmm, TDH. Mm -hmm. But is, is he a real TDH or it's to be diagnosed? He, he, he has a diagnosed. In fact, he take pills. Oh, poor boy. Mm -hmm. I think so. I'm trying to to get along with him, but it's it's so hard. For example, this this week he could control his behavior, and oh my goodness, he provokes problems all, all, all every day with the yes. rest of the partners. Yes, I think so. You know what? Um, long, long time ago, I had the case also of a boy who was diagnosed with TDH, and he didn't used to go to school. Uh, it was so frequently that he was absent, absent from school, and one day he was extremely, extremely unquiet. Uh, he was hitting the other boys. In five minutes, he hit two boys. He kissed one girl, and he bite, he bite my my hand because I I was taking him by his hand. I said, "Please, please, quietly come, come with me. Give me your hand. You are going to be my secretary." And he didn't want me to be a clutching her hand mm -hmm. and so he bite me and I said oh my it, is it is it necessary to call his mommy what should we do and in fact the assignment that I was working with them was Mexican dance so mm -hmm. it was it was not anything to be sitting down and paying attention it was dancing and even though it was a, um, a, dian, a, dan, a dynamic, I mean, a dynamic activity, oh, he was so hard to control. Mm -hmm. It sounds a good strategy. Oh, yes, because you know what? That, well, in that, uh, in that school, the directors used to have dance classes so that the students well can have a relax and not only a relax but also they could have a dynamic activity something uh, where they could um, sing dance move mm -hmm. and so yes they had dance but uh, <laughs> it was tremendous yes okay boys is the same yes that's it all right, so what do you usually have for lunch? A piece of fruit. Excellent. A, a little uh, uh, seems, seems of some, sunflower. 
Uh-huh. Hey, they are very good. And do you eat them plain or with uh, salt and chili or with uh, uh, sweet? Plain. Mm, that's good. Excellent. All right. So what about snacks? What kind of snacks do you prefer? Mm, I prefer fruit and in, in one a month, probably a, um, a snack, a nut, nuts, kawate, mm -hmm. nuts, okay? Nuts, that's good. Nuts. That's good. And for example, I don't like yogurt, I don't like eat yogurt, or, or, you, or juices, juices, that's, I don't like. Juice, juice, because. Juice. Yeah, remember that juice is a non-countable noun. So uh -huh. as it is non-countable, it is not possible to use them in plural. In plural, okay. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Uh, somebody told me that popcorn is the perfect snack because it contains fever, they don't have a lot of grease, and so they are so nutritious even. And what else? A green tea instead of plain water. Green tea with no sugar and with lemon. Mm, it's plain. plain. Plain tea or plain water? Plain, plain water. Okay, all right, so what about dinner? What time do you have, do you regularly have dinner? Mm, from, from two and three, and three. It's Excellent. Dinner, I have to my dinner. Great, okay. And what do you regularly have for dinner? Mm, this is most vegetables. Um, I have to eat meat three days a week. Yes, yeah, that's it. Mm, in almost every 15 days, a fish, fresh, fresh fish, and, and for example, chicken, I almost eat every 15 days. I try to not too much, to, to eat, eat too much. I, I try not to eat. Not to eat. Uh -huh, too much. Too yeah, much. it is much better not to consume it excessively. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, guess what? Here we have some quotes. They are, they are not quotes, they are jokes about food. So <laughs> here we are. It is the first. Hey, come on, Maggie. Here we are. Okay, and it says, I followed my heart and it led me into the fridge. What do you think about this phrase? Mm. I don't know the fridge meaning. Uh, fridge is for short of refrigerator. Uh, yes. I follow my hair and I let me to the fridge. Uh, yes, I understand. Is that the person eat? Uh, what I think so about that, this, this quote, quote, Okay, mm, I don't agree with this idea. Idea because we have to, we have to control when and how to eat. And if, if we follow my hair all the time. I, I'm going to eat all the time. For example, <laughs> yeah, I have in the street. Oh my goodness! In the subway, I have to eat all the time. No, I don't agree with this. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, what about the next one? I'm in a relationship with food. So
sorry. Mm, that's that's good. Good way to think because uh, I have to enjoy eating and the what kind of food. For example, if I somebody I I don't like the food, I don't enjoy it. And I don't feel good. <laughs> That's it. Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's go to the next. Here we are. Of course, of course, they are jokes. Uh, here we have ways to get to my heart. We are missing here. Get. Ways to get to my heart. Number one, buy me food. Number three, make me food. And number three, be food. What do you think about it? Waste to my hair. Buy the food, make the food. Well, that's good. Buy the food, make me food, but be food. <laughs> um, I don't agree with this. Yeah, no, it's a joke. All, yeah. of, all of these phrases are jokes. Yes. So, okay, let's go to the next one. Love at first bite. What do you think about this phrase? Uh, love and... Yeah. Who did say the third word? Sorry? First. First, the first, the second and... Yeah. Uh, love and first... Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love at first bite. Yeah, okay. And... Have you had any love at first bite? Mm, by this, we have a, a little uh, food, you know, it's a, for example, a cookie. So. Mm, you know what? Once upon a time, I had a, a love at first bite. And it happened that I prepared a recipe that I saw in the internet. And it was for uh, oats, oats croquettes. Yeah, it was oat, oats croquettes. And wow, they were so delicious that I fall in love with that recipe. Mm, it sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah. For example, I your popcorn bar I make in my house. Uh -huh. I don't want to buy. That's it. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know what? The, the recipe for those oat croquettes is, first of all, you are going to uh, add two spoons, no, two cups of oats to a container with one, one, one cup of milk. So you are going to leave the oat there for approximately one hour. Later on, you are going to take two eggs. Uh, you are going to add a chopped onion, a little of chopped epazote, mm -hmm. a, a little of salt at taste, of course. And later on, a little of Oaxaca cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you are going to mix everything uh, and whenever it is perfectly mixed, then you are going to put a, tea, an, um, a spoon of this mixture in a frying pan with a little of oil at mid-fire. And so you are going to fry with extremely little food. You are going to fry the little croquettes spoon by spoon in the frying pan. And whenever they are perfectly cooked, uh, then you are going to serve them with some salad. For example, green salad or tomato, grilled tomato, anything that you like. And I really recommend it. It's so mm -hmm. delicious. Yes, I think so because 
the ingredients, for example, a pasote is delicious. This, this species or plant or vegetables. Or species. What? Species. Mm -hmm. And and you know what? Uh, no spice. I'm sorry, spice. spice. As you are going to mix it with cheese and onion, yes, it sounds really good. That combination of a pasote cheese and onion is really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And so it, it is also a very nutritious dish. Mm, natural food. Yeah, that's it. And if you uh, serve it with green salad, I don't know, maybe lettuce, a little of cabbage, a little of cilantro, cucumbers, uh, tomatoes, avocados, and some olives. Mm, and yes. You can dress it up with olive oil a little of salt and vinegar mm -hmm. and wow it's so delicious mm -hmm. it's salad. <laughs> yes so look at this <laughs> this is so funny diet one i have removed all the bad food from the house it was delicious oh my goodness <laughs> we eat all the food <laughs> yeah all right. What do you think about diets when, when we don't take them very seriously? Mm. Well, the doctor said that the diet is to eat correct every day. That's true. It's, we have to eat everything, everything. Uh -huh. But we have to control about that. Mm -hmm. The quantities. The quantities, yes. Yes, that's it. You know what? Time ago, I went to see the doctor because I needed to uh, lose some weight. And so uh, he told me that I could eat everything. The problem was that the quantities, the quantities mm -hmm. were not correct. Yeah. And so he told me that I should eat one piece of proteins uh, i had to eat one piece of carbohydrates one piece of fruit and finally whatever i liked or whatever i wanted about vegetables mm -hmm. And so, yes, it worked. It really worked. I was so happy because in one week, I began feeling very well. I, I began feeling light. Uh, I felt healthy mm -hmm. and I could see, I, I could dance, I could run. I could do many things so nice. Yes, I, I think so. That is the best diet is to, to measure the quantity we eat on different kind of groups of the food. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. All right. Well, what do you think about this phrase? I won't be impressed with technology until I can download food. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it's a, a joke. Yes. <laughs> All right. Guess what? Today I was watching television, something that I don't regularly do. And I heard in the news that there is Bio Ink. Bio Ink is a kind of ink that is done by natural ADN, ADN um, molecules. And so you can uh, print some alive things with that ink. So, uh, Jesus, for me, it was so crazy. I can't believe how technology can now do that. The, the 3D uh, printers and even with the situation of the bio ink, have you heard anything about it? No, I don't hear about that. 
I, you haven't heard that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, for me it was surprising, extremely surprising. Well, okay, now please let's move on to the next. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. Some questions. Number one, for you, what is the most nutrition food you know? Mm, well, one of them is the um, uh, sesame or sesame seed. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. Why do you consider that it is so nutrition? nutritious, I mean? Well, the um, doctor said that it, uh, it contains calcium. Calcium? Calcium. Uh, some kind of prote protein. Protein. Then, um, calories, but uh, allow calories. Ah, uh, yeah. It's delicious. Ah, yeah, so much. All right, so let's go to number two. What is the most delicious food you have tried? Delicious food. It's a chicken with veg with a lot of vegetables. Oh, good. Tomatoes, lettuce, mm, peas. Oh, good. I enjoy too much. Yeah, they are so delicious. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's move on to number three. Any exotic food? Have you ever eaten any exotic food? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> when? I don't know if it's exotic. I eat, eat uh, frogs. Lexi Crocs and yuca. Yuca? <coughs> yes. What is it? <coughs> yuca is a kind of, of potato. Mm, it's, it's, or, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. Yuca is a kind of, how do you say, camote? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Uh -huh. and I, in uh, sugar. Ah, that's it, it. It was delicious. It's kind of papaya. It's Popo. quite similar to the flavor. It's a papaya. Mm -hmm. Popo. Popo. Hey, that's great. All right, number four. What is the most expensive dish you have tasted? It's a lobster. Lobster. How much is it? Mm, oh, in, oh it's, it was 10, 10 years. Mm, the piece cost mm, almost, well, in this place, almost 100 pesos. Jeez. Yes, it's so, so costly. Where, where did you buy it? Where did you eat it? In, uh, in, uh, in Yucatan. Mm, Yucatan is beautiful. But yeah. yes, in some places in Yucatan, food or well, some things tend to be a little expensive. If, for example, in the um, touristic places, mm -hmm. yes, it can be costly. I realized I realize that too late. Oh my. And did you have any problem? Did you have money for paying or or what happened to you? How did you feel? Well, I I feel that it's too expensive, but as I ask, ask it, I have uh -huh. to pay and I have to eat. If I have asked before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Something like that happened to me also in a place where I asked for food, but I didn't ask, I didn't ask about the price. And Jesus Christ, I, I had money for paying, but it was the last that I had. So it was so just 
I could have spent one, one more peso and I come back walking to my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So what about number five? Who is the person you know who cooks better than anyone else? My mom. Oh, beautiful. Mom, yes, believe me. I think so. I, I... She cooks excellent. Yeah, Especially I think Especially so. the mollies, all, of kind, all kind of mollies. Oh, delicious. You know what? Mommy's food is not only nutritious, but also delicious. And well, nutritious for our body and nutritious for our spirit. Yes, that's excellent. All right, Maria del Rosario, you know what? I think that we could continue talking for a long, long time about this interesting topic, but I'm afraid that time is over. Uh, I want to, to comment something to you. This is our last class because of course, our, our course has finished. So in the next days, you are going to have time for solving all the... Uh, the rest of the lesson. Yes. Uh, the final exam is going to be assigned to you next week, okay. maybe on Monday morning. Okay. okay, so don't forget to apply for your uh, final exam. Next morning? Uh, I think that it's going to be Monday morning. Okay. Yeah? All right. Well, I don't know if you want to say any commentary or to ask any question. No, I, I have to finish the rest of the lesson and I uh, work with, with, with them. Yes, please. And I feel, I feel good to participate yes. with you in this course. I feel fine. If I find I'm confident and I pleasure to meet you and the rest of the classmates. Oh, I thank you so much. It was so sweet. And thanks to you also because you have been so constant, so responsible and of course so brilliant. So thank you very much. And it has been a pleasure to be working with you. Very, very, um, probably we are going to meet again in the next course. So I don't say goodbye. I just say see you soon. Uh, me too. You <laughs> thank you very much. Have a very good night. It's the same for you, teacher. And thank you very much. Thanks to you.